Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a problem involving the combined gas law. The combined gas law describes the relationship between the volume, pressure, and temperature of a gas when the amount of gas is kept constant. The combined gas law can be described by an equation that looks like this. V1 times P1 over T1 equals V2 times P2 over T2. This is showing the relationship between two sets of conditions. The before conditions are represented by the ones, and then after some change occurs, the conditions are represented by the twos. The V stand for volume, the P stand for pressure, and the T stands for temperature. This equation has six variables, and for chemistry homework, you are usually going to be given five of the variables, and then you'll solve for the sixth unknown variable. Here's the kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. 24.5 liters of helium gas has a pressure of 383 kilopascals and a temperature of 318 Kelvin. What would the volume of the gas be when the pressure is decreased to 100 kilopascals and the temperature is decreased to 273 Kelvin? Before I start to solve a question like this, I like to organize the information. I'll use red to highlight what the question is asking me to solve for. It says, what would the volume be? I also like to write in the symbol from the equation to keep track of everything. So V2, because that's the volume when the conditions change. Next, I'm gonna use green to highlight the given information. The starting conditions are given first. There are 24.5 liters of helium gas. That's V1, that's the starting volume. And it's at a pressure of 383 kilopascals. That's P1. And a temperature of 318 Kelvin. So that's T1. Then something changes. In this case, the temperature and pressure are changed. The new pressure is 100 kilopascals. That's P2. And the new temperature is 273 Kelvin. And that's T2. Now I'm going to write down the equation. I need to rearrange this because I need to solve for the unknown, which is V2. I have to get rid of P2 and T2 from this side and get it over to the other side of the equal sign. So first I'll multiply by T2 to cancel the T2 on this side. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other. Then I'll divide by P2 to cancel it on this side. Then I'll divide the other side by P2. And so my equation becomes V1 times P1 times T2 over T1 times P2. That's equal to V2. Now I can just plug in all of the variables that I've already labeled. Now let's plug all of this into our calculator. 24.5 times 383 times 273. And then I'm going to divide this by 318 times 100. I'm going to round my answer to three digits because each of the given variables had three significant digits. And so the answer is 80.6. And the unit is liters because liters is the unit for volume. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. 